the Joe Rogan experience. You think Bernie Not Sanders a- maybe could have done that? Not could he have won, but Maybe, what, what but would happen pro- if he got... The problem with Bernie is the same reason why he let those Black Lives people take his mic and start screaming into the thing, like, hey, buddy, can't do that. You're running for fucking president, and you're showing right here that people can just storm the stage and take the microphone from you. Like, you should say, I would love to have a dialogue with you. Let's do it publicly. Let's schedule it now. We'll come back, we'll get a large group of people, and I'll speak with you on this stage if you represent this very important political movement. But here's what you can't do. You can't disrespect this campaign speech because you're literally stopping people from ever voting for me if I let you do it. Because that's the fact. What if People he said, watched him do that, and they go, you can't let kids just take over your show. You can't. You're the guy who's supposed to be running the country. You can't even run this fucking thing. You got this one thing. You're standing on the stage in front of 300 people. Three of them just took your mic. Congratulations. You don't have leadership ability. What about right other, there. What about other than that? <laughs> that's a big part. That's big. That's, that's not good. That's not good. But you know what? In the moment, he made an error. It doesn't me, mean that's who he is. His, part of the problem is we, people are judging you by these moments that you, you have, right? And it doesn't define him. He might have done that and go, well, you know, I was just trying to be nice. I, I didn't expect that. I thought security was going to get them out of there. But they didn't. You know, they didn't. It, well, they wound up on the stage with him screaming. I thought you know? maybe he fe- I didn't. I'd seen him do, when he did those type of things a few times. You want to see the video? Want to see it? It's, yeah, it's kind of yeah. interesting. I thought it was his way of saying, look, I get it. Yeah. What it must feel like to not be able to be heard. And it's not my fault that no one's ever listened to you so far. But what do we have to do? And then maybe he feels they go up and they... Just I want a sane person would lead. It would lead right. a sane person when you ignore that long to just grab a mic. And maybe he goes, I have to be a part of letting this person spill out a little. Yeah, but the problem is then who doesn't spill out? Everybody can spill out. Everybody can jump up for their own cause, whether it's white power or fucking Jews lives matter, yeah, whatever well. it is. You could just decide that you have a group now and your group may very well be valid, but you can just decide now you're just going to yell out when, whenever there's some sort of a political speech and then it'll be your chance to talk. You're just going to take the mic and make it all about you. Yeah, there's got to be some civility. There are a lot of things we need to be concerned with. We need to be concerned with war. We need, we need to be concerned with poverty, education, health care, all these different things. But you can't just represent each one of these very, very important groups and jump on stage everywhere and start yelling. Do you know what I thought? Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> I, should be, I should be just done with this. You, no, no, why? It's because the subject is like, it gets so exhausting. I know. Let me add one more thing. <laughs> 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 no, because I, by the way, you know, you have these theories in your head and then sometimes somebody will respond and, and blow it out of you know just on your own mark oh, i never thought about that but i had this theory it, it was a weird way that i thought about it well two things one kids do I, i'm stealing from the act a teeny bit but just because it's a, a, a you know a stat i use in the right. act. kids do if there was a yelp review young adults have an amazing yelp review for being on the right side who they who they root for who they i think music well and, you're dealing with some left wing democratic out here kids like what you ever talk to some kids from alabama but i'm talking about on the the masses of kids that that march oh the ones that march the ones that march the ones that get involved if you go back and look at like you know kent state or you know i'm sure alabama i'm sure we (laughs) we could pull up 50 but so with that said now i'm not saying we shouldn't doubt them if i had a gun to my head and someone said if we had a crystal ball are they making the right choice about Bernie Sanders, these kids? And I go, oh, let me ask you. I got to talk about that for five. I got to watch a campaign. I got to watch a debate. I can't. How's he going to ha- handle public policy? How's he right. going to? I can't right. just ask. Eh. They go, we're going to shoot you in your head. I go, kids, oh, overwhelmingly kids like him. Yeah, he's going to do the right thing. And I think if there was a crystal ball, here's my theory. But I don't okay. know. I've never said this, I think, out loud. That maybe 50 years from now, just like we're learning about history, they would talk about him in the way that, you know, this guy came into office, picture kids, and they're telling him why maybe 2022 started to be these good times. And, there's, and they're, they're talking about history. And they go, well, a guy came into office, and he really didn't know anything about the, the – he didn't really know about he – was, he was not – you know, he didn't know about war. He didn't know about no, – and no one thought he could really do it. But he was one thing that you wouldn't think would answer our economical problems. You can be a nice-hearted person, but that's not going to answer your economical problems. But it, it ended up doing that because he, he did truly treat everybody kind. 
Mm. And it ended up that when people started to be treated fairly, the world worked better with less depressed people. I'm not saying everybody, but people, we right. torture people. If we had someone in power that was overwhelmingly kind right. and people felt the wrath of that almost very quickly, right. maybe we go, and then you know what? No one ever thought this. Then some of the economical problems worked out, the, worked themselves out. Now that is based on no science. <laughs> no matter. You know, hey, well, yeah, I'm, I'm acknowledging right. that, yeah. that. But that was in my head. <laughs>